Well, apparently it didn't take very long for someone to copy World of Warships and create their own game called Steel Ocean. Now, this is the game that's available on Steam for free. And it's essentially World of Warships, but it's a World of Warships with a twist, which I think is worth covering by itself, because this game might be even better. I'm going to start from scratch here and show you the tech tree. We'll talk about the ships and we'll talk about the additional uh, things that World of Warships doesn't have. Now, I've only started playing this myself, but I'm already really impressed with this. So the tech tree here is relatively complex and already quite complete. Uh, there is battleships, there is cruisers, there is uh, everything that the World of Warships has. But here's a twist. This game also has submarines. Yes, that's right. They've added submarines, something that World of Warships absolutely refused to add. And we're going to play as a submarine just, just so I can show you that it's actually kind of fun. Uh, there's three different countries already. There's US, Germany and Japan and Soviet Union and France are coming. There's only the premium ships right now that you can buy, but everything else is already here. Japanese tree is quite impressive. Uh, with lots of lots of ships, lots of lots of submarines available. And so is the German and so is the American. Anyway, so um, each of the ships has, obviously has upgrades. Um, you have things like here, I'm going to go into research. Um, you can upgrade your engine, you can upgrade your radar, you can upgrade your your, um, your cannon, your torpedoes, and so on and so forth. And then you can obviously uh, also use the points to purchase the next ship and uh, start that from scratch. Uh, unfortunately, you only get four slots in the beginning, and to buy more, you'll need to use gold. And so there's quite a lot of emphasis on buying gold, which is something I don't really like. But, but as long as you keep erasing the old ships and placing the new ships into the uh, empty slot, you'll be fine. All right, so let's play as a German ship. I'm going to show you what the game is like. Uh, so it doesn't very uh, doesn't take very long to wait for a match. Uh, as you can see, it actually took two seconds here. And I'm playing in uh, odd hour as well, so it's uh, really quite impressive. Now, one main difference between the World of Warships and this game is the controls. Here, you can actually WASD your way uh, into battle and control it as a tank or use um, R to set your speed automatically. Uh, I do prefer to use WASD because it gives me a little bit more flexibility. Um, also, your cannons are um, aimed slightly differently. You can see there's like circles here. And if you move or if you move your cannons uh, or your reticle too much, you will not be able to aim very well. So it's actually recommended to stop ship completely. Also, all of the ships start with torpedoes right off the bat. Um, even the first tier ships have torpedoes, something that World of Warships doesn't let you have right away. Um, so let's play through this mission. Actually, a lot of the missions, a lot of the battles here play play out a lot faster than World of Warships and people die a lot faster as well. Um, there is also things like penetration, which are a little bit more prominent in this game than in World of Warships, meaning that um, if your cannons are really powerful, they will penetrate ship and do extra damage. If your cannons are like mine, tiny and puny, and you're shooting at someone a little bit more uh, highly defended than you are, let's see if we hit him. No, we missed. Um, then they'll just bounce off, and you'll be reminded that your cannons are no match. All right, let's try to hit this guy. Critical hit, excellent. And one more time. And I missed. He stopped. Let's do it again. You see him launching torpedoes uh, at someone. That's because uh, torpedoes here play a huge role. Just like they do in World of Warships, but here, even, even in the beginning of the game, you will need to definitely... Uh, okay, I think someone else got him. Uh, you will need to definitely um, use the torpedoes a lot. I also need to look around me because there will be always be dudes next uh, next to me. The people in this game tend to um, flank you a lot, which is awesome. I do appreciate being flanked, so you have to always watch your back. Um, now, battles are, like I said, really fast-paced. I think a little bit fa more fast-paced than in World of Warships. Uh, and I do kind of like the way uh, gun mechanics work. At least a little bit more than in World of Warships. Now, let's actually just finish this mission, and I'm gonna... Oh, torpedo's coming. Where? From where? I don't see it. I see nothing. You lied to me. Um, we're gonna try to not die and survive this, uh, this battle. If we do die, that's okay, too. Uh, and then in the next battle, we're gonna use a submarine. Um, submarines in this game are pretty, pretty cool. Uh, they started Tier 2, and uh, for German side, which is what I'm playing as, it's obviously U2. U2 submarine. 
And here comes the torpedo. And look at that. It hit the, hit the guy. Oh, silly goose. How did it hit you? Oh, let's finish this guy. Oh, it hit us as well. I didn't even see it. Oh, my God. As I was trying to kill someone, I got uh, attacked by a torpedo. I think, actually, it might have been from a friendly side. Because there is friendly fire in this game as well. One thing I forgot to mention is that you also get commander skills. In my case, I think it's spacebar. And what that gives me is a little bit of a boost. Um, I don't remember exactly what it gives me. I think it says it right here. Uh, decreases dive time by 1.5 seconds less. Okay, that's for a submarine, fast dive. And this is a commander that I have for my submarine. So it, it, if I press spacebar, it's sort of like a skill in um, MMORPG games. So that will allow me to dive a little bit faster. And it looks like this guy is going down. There we go. Torpedo hit. Excellent. So, oh, there's one more left. I didn't even realize. Um, that was my second kill. And let's go for the last kill who is, I think, hiding somewhere right here. There he is. All right, victory. So this time we're going to do the same with the submarine. I'm not sure if we're going to win because submarines are a lot more difficult to play with. Uh, but we're going to try our best. And while we're waiting for our next match, I just wanted to mention one thing I don't like about this game, and that's the fact that because it's free and because it's on Steam, there's a lot of really, uh, really, really uh, silly and immature chat going on in the box right here. Uh, I think it's probably recommended to just ignore it or completely close it, actually, because there's a lot of swearing, a lot of immaturity, and a lot of uh, young kids swearing at each other in different languages. Uh, anyway, so let's uh, start the next match. And here we are in our tiny U-2 submarine. There's actually three submarines on both sides. And our job is to try to destroy the enemy or occupy their uh, the territory in the middle. Uh, now, submarines can obviously submerge, but here's the thing. You can only submerge for a certain time because this game limits your... Uh, you basically, you have a limited amount of oxygen. So I'm going to show you what this, uh, how this works. I'm going to need to accelerate full speed. Uh, so here we go. We get um, something like three minutes underwater at um, the attack uh, depth and if we dive deeper there uh, at the depth of uh, uh, safety uh, we only get two minutes in other words we do have to surface once in a while to replenish our oxygen now now this is not very realistic because in real life um, submarines would more likely run out of electricity and not oxygen um, so I'm not sure why they decided to go with electricity instead. Now here um, the, you can see some airplanes flying around. Those are scouts and they might also attack our enemy. Um, one thing you have to avoid as a submarine is obviously the um, depth charges. So some destroyers will have depth charges that they can use against you uh, by basically strafing above you and throwing them in the water. Now we're going to try to play really carefully and hopefully, hopefully sink at least a couple of ships. Um, and also try to play silently and quietly as well. The thing is, because we only get three minutes underwater, even at a low depth, playing as a submarine is relatively difficult. Uh, here, if you are not careful enough, enemy can just basically wait for you to, um, to surface and then destroy you with their cannons. We also have cannons. Uh, um, our number two is actually a, a cannon. Or actually, su Japanese submarines have cannons. We only have AA guns, uh, which are... Oh, no, sorry, this is not an E again. This is just a small, a tiny little cannon that we can use that shoots um, a low-caliber gun. Oh, here we go. Here comes the first ship. Now, but I think I'm going to go in the middle of the islands and instead try to catch some ships unaware. All right, we're going to dive. Uh, I see some enemies coming toward us, and we're going to just stay underwater and slowly approach them and hopefully catch one of them unaware. So there we go, there's our periscope. Uh, we now have to try to uh, destroy one of them. And they cannot see us from here, um, meaning that we can basically approach a ship relatively closely and uh, uh, launch the torpedoes without them even seeing us. However, our torpedoes can hit us here, uh, so we have to be careful. Oh, here's the enemy submarine, look at that. I didn't even see it. We're going to do the same and submerge using our uh, special ability of submerging quickly. Let's see if we can hit anything. Oh, we missed everything. That's okay. Now, as a submarine, you can obviously play the role of a scout. You can just get in the middle of the enemies like that. And they won't really see you, but you can see them quite easily. And But the thing is, um, you can still be seen if you are at a certain depth. So like, right now, I can actually be seen. Uh, meaning that I have to be kind of careful. But I'm still going to launch my torpedoes and 
Uh, just get out of here. Oh boy, here comes the enemy torpedo and boom. We got hit by a torpedo. Okay, I got hit by an aircraft, did not see it coming, and now I'm done. Alright, so that, there you go. Submarines are pretty awesome, but really, really difficult to play as. Uh, I did not see the aircraft, I did not see the torpedo coming toward me, and I got pawned. And so this is what this game is like in a nutshell. This is Steel Ocean, and I think it might even become more popular than World of Warship simply because it's on Steam and because it has submarines. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe and like it. Share it with friends and family. Game you later and bye bye.